What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the iMac G3 from 1998. This is one of Apple's first um, iMacs, as you can see right there it does say iMac. This is a very boxy old style computer. You can see it's in blue. What Apple's done is they've actually gone with a um, clear plastic. Because a lot of companies didn't do this, so Apple wanted to like set themselves apart, make something different. So that is exactly what they've done. So you can see around it, very cool design, very boxy, very thick. You can see the big ass screen in there. Um, it has a handle, everything. And let's just take a closer look at it right now. Here it is once again, very cool. Has a nice blue clear Apple logo, very nice things. Um, there's a handle, even that clear, so it's taken out easily. Here's a look inside the computer. Got this um, moving up the ports. It does. You probably name most of these ports, so that would be a USB. Ethernet. Uh, you guys can see that. That's a telephone port. Um, that might be. Oh, I'm not sure what that is. And then there's a mic and headphone jack inputs, as well as there being a couple buttons. I think those are. Yep. And over to the back, you do have your power in, which is just one of those, if you can see in there. Wait, oh, oh, where am I looking up to? Yeah, in there. Let's see that. Even this thing, this is another Apple logo. Look where it has fallen down, I guess you can see it in there. Sort of, right there, that's what I'm done. This thing is really heavy, because it's old type of computer. That's not really meant to be moved or anything, it just sits there, does its job. Which is very nice. And this this laptop, this um computer, sorry, does have a faulty um things called CLT or something. The type of display it uses this. And it does have a burning mark, so you can actually see it does say Mac OS X, which is actually pretty cool to be fair. But that's actually burned into the screen the moment on. I guess to read that, so yeah. There's also a couple of speakers on the sides, as well as there being a disk drive. So I'm not sure if it's anything like the original Macintosh where JJ had to put the disk into for it to work, or if it's just has it already, or I don't know. It's even a power button, as well as there being a mic and a headphone jack. Yeah, it's got a, I did I did get this pretty cheap, so it does have a bit of damage, but this thing's over 20 years ago, so what do you expect? We can even, it's kind of interesting, if we go to the bottom, um, I'll just flip this up without trying to break it. Right. Over here, is actually, yeah, as I was saying, you can actually open this up, so if you get your fingernail, sort it in there. Wait, wrong way. If you put your finger in now and then, that way, this thing, you can actually open up, and this is to upgrade the RAM cards, which are all in there right now. I believe you can actually take these out, so if I wanted to, I can actually take them out and upgrade the RAM. I'm not sure what type of the RAM this is, but I'd say it's pretty old. So yeah, there's one of your two RAM cards. I'd say this has probably like less than half, of it, probably way, much less than half a gigabyte of RAM, so I'm pretty small. So by today's standards, that's nothing. And then we can just get it back in there. Yeah, I'll, I'll just put that back in there later. And then this thing. Oh, oops, sorry. No, it's locked up after. It also has a cool handle. I mean, not a handle. A um, stand, so if you've got it up, you can actually 
say like the tools of South Africa which is pretty nice. This is all the Apple text whatnot. I would expect Apple to put on there. Um let's put this back up how it should be. And then here is the handle. How that works is um you can just you can see it. Yeah, I'm doing this one handed, so that's what I've seen. Well, and yeah, it just sits on the handle right like that, so you can actually see it, and it tilts up a bit. So, yeah, pretty nice. So, that just about puts the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.